we, bro, you're the president of the United States. You can instantly close the border. You don't need legislation. You don't need Senate. You don't need Congress. You don't need any anything at all. You took an oath to protect this country from all enemies, foreign and domestic. You have the ability, if you f perceive a threat and actually can point out a threat, which you obviously can, you can take care of that problem like that. You have all the power vested in you from us, the American people, who voted voted you in the office. So, welcome back, everybody. To our next story is from Mayor Eric Adams. He was on CNBC. I think it's uh, Aaron Sorkin. Um, I've done multiple stories about this guy. Um, he's in there defend, still defending his $10,000 debit card giveaway to illegal criminals in New York City. Uh, basically fighting against the idea that it costs too much, it's inefficient, and why are you giving it to illegal immigrants in the first place? So let's check out the liar known as Mayor Eric Adams. Before we get into the video, I need to tell you a secret. I need you to hit the like and the subscribe button. I need to fight against the YouTube algorithm. Because I'm on the road to 1,000. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Let's get into it. But one of the things you are doing uh, is a, an experimental program uh, to provide debit cards with cash on the card. Uh, this has created an enormous controversy in the city among uh, some taxpayers who say, why, why are we paying and giving out this money uh, to these migrants? And isn't this only going to encourage more migrants to come to New York? And, and, and the reason it's, it's created such controversy is because how it has been reported and distorted. Here's what we're doing. We are required to feed migrants and asylum seekers as well as everyone else in our homeless system. Uh, about 40,000 are in the homeless system that are not migrant and asylum seekers. We're required to feed them. And so what I told the team to do is we have to find a, a way to do it that's Less costly because we're in a 30 percent decrease in the cost of the migrant uh, crisis and that we don't have food waste. We were able to do that. We're saving approximately six hundred thousand dollars a month, seven point two million dollars uh, a year by giving individuals a card that allows them to buy food or baby supplies, spending $13 a day on food that's cheaper, that's less food waste. This is a real win-win for us. And the money will go into the local economy because now we go into the local stores, supermarkets, where we're going to hire local. This is a smart way to bring down the cost right. and re put, replace the money back into our city. So as you can see, Mayor Adams, the liar, um, going on CNBC and telling everybody, well, AKA lies. Going to save, what, $700,000, $600,000 a month, $7.2 million a year. Well, you know how you could save it, all of it, right? You know how you could save it all? By not giving away $10,000 a person to illegal immigrants. Or even better, you know, because you, then you make up the, the thing saying, well, you know, you spend the money into the local economy, local businesses. This money goes right back to the community. You know what would be even better? If you just gave the money to those businesses anyway. Or even better. Even better. I got a better idea. Give it to American citizens. Why don't you give the money to American citizens and have them spend it? Because they're not getting uh, $13 a day to, to feed their families or put baby formula in their kids' mouths or diapers. Actually, in fact, the only thing they get, any American citizen get, is SNAP, which is only $7 a day. So you're giving almost double the amount to people who don't belong here in the first place, who committed crimes to get here in the first place, to uh, basically overthrow the people who are already here. Really, you should never, ever, I mean, in, in, in God's name, you should never, ever get reelected. You are horrible. And anybody who's, who's good with this decision should lose their position in the government too. I mean, it is the dumbest thing I've heard. And this just is another piece of evidence to show how terrible the Democratic establishment really is. They will, they will forego helping you to help people who basically broke the law to get here. Our next clip is from a wife of a middle school teacher who... I would say probably has a mental illness just as much as her husband does and just as much as his students do. So let's check this out. I have a happy story to tell you about trans kids in a public school. 
my partner is a public middle school teacher. They were moving some tables and chairs around with their class. My partner goes, okay, I need some big strong boys to help me move these tables. You, 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 and you. And picked the trans kids, picked the trans boys in the class. Are these big kids? No. Are they necessarily strong? Not really. But the looks on their faces to have their teacher just like casually affirm their gender and to be like, hey, I need some boys to move some tables. You, you are a boy. Please come move this table. It gives me chills every time. So basically, let me get this straight. There's these trans boys who are actually girls, they're girls, they're females, um, are in this, this man's class and he needs to move some desks. So he says, I need some really strong boys. Um, and he points out to the trans the girls that are pretending to be boys, hey, I need your help, to basically affirm their delusion, to affirm that their mental illness is okay, that, they, that, that saying that they're boys is okay. Again, I understand I'm going to get hate for this, but reality is reality. They're girls. You, you are playing into delusion. If I pretended to be a dog and somebody says, come here, boy, and pretended to be I was a dog and actually took it serious, they have a mental illness too. It, it's almost Munchausen syndrome at this point. And then, and then, you know, then you got to think that it's a lie. She just said, are they, are they, you know, the strongest? Are they the biggest? She said, no. So you automatically lied to them in that matter. So now it almost feels as if you're placating people. You have to placate people's lies and the delusion and play into their mental illness. For what? For what? Did it help you move the desk any better? No. Did you tell the truth and did you have integrity? No. Did you lie? Yes, you absolutely lied. So to actually hold this up as this is a good thing? Lady, you got a mental illness. You really do. This is sad. This is sad that, that our reality is, it, this is what we're facing off against. It's crazy. I don't know. People are nuts. Let's move on to our next clip. So, Donald Trump and Joe Biden were both at the border over the weekend. Um, Donald Trump uh, spoke to a bunch of the Border Patrol agents, so did Joe Biden. But this, this is about exactly what Joe Biden said. So, let's let's hear what Joe Biden has to say, referring to, to Donald Trump, and we'll come back and we'll talk about it. I understand my predecessor's an eagle pass today. So, here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Instead of playing politics with this issue, instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, join me, or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. We can do it together. You know and I know it's the toughest, most efficient, most effective border security bill this country has ever seen. So instead of playing politics with the issue, why don't we just get together and get it done? Let's remember who the heck we work for. We work for the American people, not the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. We work for the American people. And let's remember who we are. We're the United States of America. And no, I mean this. Think about this. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity. Nothing when we work together. And if all things we should be working together on is this, we have the formula to get it done. Before we do get into this, I just want to point out before the speech, and I know it should have clipped, but uh, Joe Biden called everybody uh, his Republican friends Neanderthals as if they were stupid and didn't know what they were doing. But then he calls upon Donald Trump to help him with the border, knowing that he's terrible at it. So he needs somebody who is, is probably much better at handling the border than him to come help him, to work this out. We can get this done together. Uh, we work for the American people. This is, uh, you know, let's work together on this part. The, the, we, bro, you're the president of the United States. You can instantly close the border. You don't need legislation. You don't need Senate. You don't need Congress. You don't need any anything at all. You took an oath to protect this country from all enemies, foreign and domestic. You have the ability, if you f perceive a threat and actually can point out a threat, which you obviously can, you can take care of that problem like that. You have all the power vested in you from us, the American people, who voted, voted you in the office. You have the power already. I don't know what you're waiting for. And then you try to, I know what you're waiting for. You just don't want to do it because you want more people here 
that will vote for you illegally. All you're doing is inviting more and more criminals in day by day. And it's absurd. It really is. It's, it's, it's so crazy that, you know, we as Americans, we haven't caught on fully yet. I know a good amount of us have. But I don't think what we're, you realize what we're facing just from the cartels, let alone, you know, from other foreign adversaries around the globe. So with that, I'm going to leave you with uh, a short video. Uh, the CJNG cartel from Mexico and how highly armed. Um, so, so before I leave you with that video, like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. I love you. But I want to leave you with this video of CJNG Cartel and how highly armed they are and what's waiting for us coming across that border. And let's be clear, it's probably already here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Una gente de la